Hey what's up everyone this is Baljeev from JK welcome on my channel and this video we are going to create communication between compact logix plc to rs logix 5000 so in this video i will show you step by step how you can create their communication first let's look to close i have a compact logix l43 I'm going to connect with my laptop and compact logix L43 have an option for serial port. As you can see, I have one side female goes to my PLC side and other side I have a another converter because my laptop don't have a serial port. So I have to convert to USB and this end will go to my laptop. To communicate, we have to connect our PLC and the laptop. So first, I'm going to use serial port at my PLC, which one is, can be 1747 or 1756 CP3 9 pin to 9 pin. And other end, I'm going to use a USB 9300 uh, is like a cable and converter. I'm going to connect to my laptop. I will also leave a name and a description. So just in case you are curious about what kind of cable you need to use. Then second thing we have to be this switch need to move at REM is called run error program or at the program mode to communicate with the PLC. Once you have done both things, you have connected your PLC. Now we are going to move on our laptop. I will be recording my screen so we can see a little more, more clear. First thing we need to know which COM port we are using where we have connected our PLC USB cable. For this one, I'm on window 10. I will right click on this PC. Then I will go to device manager and inside the device manager, you will see whole list of your hardware connected to your laptop or PC. From here, we need to find out COM port option. You can drop down menu and you will see whatever the COM port USB are available here by connecting and disconnecting cable coming from a plc it will be making sure that's the com port in my case i have a com port number five this one we are going to use to create uh, drivers so now i'm going to open rs links classic open that one first thing uh, if you have a your own computer that will be okay if you are using a computer somebody else then you have to remove or you have to stop any other old driver are running then click on communication uh, then uh, click on configure drive driver from here we have to create new driver so i will click on this arrow drop down menu i will be using rs232 dfi device choose that one uh, depend on your cable you're using then we are going to click on add new once you click on add new asking for name, you can leave a default. It doesn't matter. I will put test here. We are using this uh, uh, drivers for test our PLC. Then you click on OK. Over here, we have to choose COM port. I'm going to choose COM port number five. Then what PLC? This is a SLC. So I will choose that one. Then I will click auto configure. And in this case, you will be see message is successfully auto configured already. Now we done at this place. We have already configured our driver. You can click on OK. When you click on OK, you can also close this one. And here's the list on the side. All the drivers have configured before and now. You can make sure your drivers are there. You can click on it. You should see some kind of a... Uh, PLC or something uh, hardware connected to it. Now you can minimize this one. We will be opening RS Logix 5000. I'm going to use RS Logix 5000. And once you open, it depends on your uh, laptop speed, how fast you are. It will open quickly or it will take a couple seconds. So I will be bearing. So now uh, as soon as you open first we have to choose communication and I will choose who active click on who active then on the list we have to choose the driver we have a configured earlier in RS links and you can also from right hand side you can click on go online or upload I will click on go online I'm here on this one to just clear my fault but 
you can also go further to check a program or upload or download program from the PLC or to the PLC so as you can see it appear lot of red on the top that's red on the top is also telling you you have a multiple error or fault on this PLC depend on you can have a multiple you can have a less but in my case I have a multiple or major fault and there will be all list whatever the program you're using your PLC information and the top there are a couple other options like a general there's a major fault then you have a uh, regular fault first I have a major fault I don't have any other but I have a major fault here's the list of fault you can make a list you can take a picture uh, to be fixed in the future if come back so you can go through all and you can choose your option best to clear fault there is a if you see here it says clear fault you simply click on it it will clear all the fault and you can see now on the top all are blue because they are just connected right now they are on the program mode they are not at the run mode program mode you always see uh, like a blue color now if you click select file it will be choosing the path where you are going to choose if you have a program already you can choose uh, your file if not you can create a new one and simply click on a next as you can see we have a program already uploading it will take a couple more second minute we were just going to wait so now we already on our plc compact logics l43 so after that you can modify you can add it or you can test your plc here you have another option you can also download or upload so in this video we have so far learned how to communicate with your compact logics to RS logics 5000. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Meet you in the next video with the new topic.